Boys and girls, I want to talk to you about something really special. We all have one. Boys and girls watching, you have one. I have one. You all have one. This little girl right here, what's your name? Stand and tell me. <coughs> it is. It's Kyla. And that little boy right there, what's your name? <coughs> it's William. We all have a name, don't we? We all have a name, and our names are so special. Do you know that your name, boys and girls watching, and boys and girls right here, do you know that your name means something? Bethany, do you know that your name means something? It does. Everybody has a name, and it means something. Some names mean something silly. Some names are names after things. Bethany, do you know that your name comes from a place far, far away? It comes from a place called Jerusalem. Did you know that? It does. I looked it up. I looked up your names and I have them written down on a piece of paper here. Some of your names I have on here. I looked up all your names. Oh, and they're all special. None of you have a silly meaning to your name. You all have very nice names. Boys and girls watching, some of you might even have the name like some of these. Maybe your name is Jonathan. Maybe your name is Jonathan. Maybe your name is Bethany. Maybe your name is Angelina. Angelina, do you know that your name means angel? It does. Her name means angel. Let me look and see what else I have on here. <gasps> Connor, your name means wise. Boys watching, maybe your name's Connor. But you can ask your mommy and she can tell you what your name means. Before you were born, mommy and daddy decide what your name's gonna be. God tells mommy and daddy and God lets mommy and daddy pick a name. Sometimes mommies and daddies pick names because they like what it means. Lucia, do you know what your name means? I'm gonna tell you. Your name means graceful light. Isn't that pretty? It is. It means graceful light. Oh, some names are so special. Well, sometimes, like I said, mommies and daddies will pick your name because they like the what it means. Sometimes they like it because they like the way it sounds. Now, when Mrs. Stewart was picking her boys and girls, when I picked my boys and girls names, I picked them because I liked the way they sounded. I did. And I picked them because my first one was named Hunter. Maybe your boy's name is Hunter and your name is Hunter. And guess what? Then my next one, I wanted it to be another H name. So all of my kids, all the Stewart kids have H names. So I picked all my kids to have names that start with H. Maybe in your family, boys and girls watching, all your brothers and sisters have the same first letter. It could be, but everybody's name is special. All of you are special, not just because of your name, but because God made you. But we're gonna talk about names today. Names are special. Names mean different things. My name is Mrs. Stewart. The Mrs. part, when you say Mrs., that means that I'm married. I am a wife. That means that I married Mr. Stewart. Mr. Stewart is the husband and I am the wife. I'm the woman, so I'm called Mrs. I'm not called Mr. I'm called Mrs. So I married Mr. Stewart and that's how God wanted it to be. One man and one woman. So I'm the woman, I'm Mrs. And I married a Mr. And we're gonna be married forever because that's how God wants it. When you get married, that's how God wants it. So Mr. and Mrs. Stewart. And so when, when I had my name before I was a steward, my name was a Spanish name. So my name came from a Spanish side. It did. So names come from different places. Sometimes it could be like an Irish name. Sometimes it could be a Spanish name. Sometimes it's just all kinds of different places they come from. And that's what's neat about names. And you can have mommy and daddy look up your name and tell you what your name means or why they picked your special name. Isn't that special? But you know what? Sometimes people call you nicknames. Maybe your mommy and daddy, Luke, have a nickname for you. Do they call you something, Luke, that might not be your name? Maybe that's not really, they don't call you Luke, they call you something else. Like at my house, sometimes I call my boys because they're very close in age, I call them peanut butter and jelly. I do. I say, come on, isn't that funny? Oh, remember? I call them peanut butter and jelly because I say, come on, peanut butter and jelly, come on, you come with me. And so they love it and they go, which one are me? Am I the peanut butter or am I the jelly? 
or sometimes I just say, come on cuties, let's go, or silly billies, that's their nickname. Sometimes I call them silly billies, and they just know I'm talking to them, and they come. Luke, do you have a name mommy or daddy calls you? What do they call you? Stan, tell me. It's like a nickname. It's not really your name, but it's a name that they call you. That's not really Luke. It's something else. What is it? Well, think about it. Kyla, do you have a name mommy or daddy calls you? Well, that's your real name, but do you have a nickname? Maybe daddy says, calls you princess or, or little girl. When I was a little girl, my daddy, I had really curly, curly hair, kind of like Myla. Myla, come see Mrs. Stewart. My hair was very, very curly like this. See this right here? It was very curly, and it was really long. And so my daddy would always call me Curly Girl. And he would say, come see me, Curly Girl. How's my Curly Girl today? Even when I got big, when I went to college, even when I got married, even when I didn't even wear my hair curly. And my daddy would, when I'd call my daddy, he would say, hi, Curly Girl. How are you today? That was just a nickname. That was just a nickname. Nicknames are fun. Nicknames are names that are, can be loving because they love you. Sometimes I call you sweet peas, don't I? Well, we say sweet peas line up or I say, come on sweet peas, let's have fun or and things like that. So I call you sweet peas because that's a loving <laughs> nickname. Maybe mommy and daddy have a nickname for you. Angelina, does mommy and daddy call you something different besides Angelina? Angelina Battery. Angelina Ballerina, that is a fun nickname. Remember, if something's silly, let's go like this. If you think something's funny, that way we can all hear. Good. Yes, Angelina Ballerina, that's a fun name. I like that. Um, Catherine and Bethany, does your mommy or daddy call you something different than Bethany and Catherine? Princess. They call you princess? Oh, that's fun. Bethany, do you have a different one that mommy and daddy call you? No. Mm -hmm. Carter, do you have a name that mommy or daddy might call you? No, sometimes daddies might say, come on, sport. That Sometimes daddy will call boys sport. They'll say, come on, sport, let's go. But sometimes nicknames can hurt. Did you know that? Sometimes people say nicknames that will hurt. And you don't want to say things that will hurt somebody, would you? Would you want somebody to call you something that would be ugly and would hurt you in your heart? No, remember how um, when... We've already had this story. Remember when we learned how Amber was swinging on that swinging and she got too high and she started to cry? And then Lolly Lopbeers was going, come on, baby, you can do it. Come on, you're just a baby. She wasn't being very kind, was she? No. When you call somebody a name like that, when you say, you're a baby, that's being ugly. That's not a name you want to be called, and you wouldn't want to call somebody that. But remember, she had a friend. Amber had a friend that was being kind, kind of like the way David and Jonathan were. Button Bear. Yes, Button Bear. And Button Bear said, she's not being a baby. She was just afraid. She's a big girl. She can do it. She just needs to learn how to slow down and be able to get off of the swing. So we don't want to say, call people nicknames that are ugly. When you get a nickname, that's because daddy and mommy love you and they want to call you something fun because they love you. And it's just fun to call you something fun. But you don't want to say things that are ugly and mean and hurt somebody with their names. You just want to use that name for something fun. Now, I have some more names on here. Let's see who else I could pick. Cyrus. Cyrus, guess what your name means? It means throne. It does, it means throne like a king sits on a throne and he, you could be like a king someday maybe. Remember David got chosen for a king. And guess what Elijah, you know what your name means? Boys watching, maybe your name is Elijah. Elijah means, let me look at it, Jehovah is God. Isn't that special? Oh, it's not silly. It's not silly, it's special. Our names mean something special. God already knew before you were even born what your mommy and daddy were going to call you. Isn't that special? Oh, boys and girls, I'm so glad that God gave you a special name, and I'm glad that you are in this classroom. Boys and girls watching, I love, I don't know what your name is, but God gave you your special name, and I'm glad that you're watching and that you're part of our classroom. I'm so glad that I get to be your teacher, and I'm so proud of you today. You go home and you ask mommy and daddy, what does my name mean? Or why did you pick my name? And then you can come and you can tell me what your name means or why mommy and daddy picked it. Isn't that neat? God made us all special. I'm so glad that he did that.